Trainees, welcome to the Tuesday session for the Ring Fit Adventure Kickstart 3. This video is going to have your workout for each of the four focuses, as well as a fit fact about why cardio is so important for you. I know a lot of people like to skip cardio if they're into like weight training and stuff, but there are a lot of benefits associated with your cardio, so let's have a little look at that. But first, it's going to be a cardio day. That's why we're talking about that. So there are several ways that you can do your cardio in Ring Fit Adventure. Number one is the aerobic fit skills. There are ones like knee lift and knee lift combo, ring raise combo and stuff like that, which are aerobic in nature. So there's a lot of moving around and there's a lot of raising your heart rate essentially. So it's really, really good. You get a little bit of resistance training there, but very minimal because it is extremely light body weight movement. You have your jogging mode where you're jogging on the spot, of course. That is kind of your standard sort of thing. It's like the levels in adventure mode if you haven't tried out the jogging mode through custom already and then you have your rhythm mode now rhythm mode is a bit of an interesting one it was added in march 2020 and essentially you're matching the rings movement on the screen pressing in and out and moving it in the right place at the right time so this can be upgraded from normal all the way to ultra advanced you have to unlock those specifically in the rhythm game mode before you can use them in custom mode as well not that we're going to particularly use them much in today's session but there are some later in the week that do potentially use super advanced and ultra advanced so just bear that in mind i will make a little offer for you for your cardio day and this is typically because a lot of people have preferred this in the past essentially if you want to go and do your own form of cardio today so you want to go out for a run you want to go for a swim you want to go for a bike ride or something like that then feel free to do that just aim for 20 to 30 minutes of continuous aerobic activity where you can and that is going to count for your cardio day you don't have to do an in-ring fit if you don't like it if you have a preferred method method of cardio that you want to do, you want to jump on your treadmill or whatever I said, then make sure that you do that, okay? But either way, we're getting some cardio training in. So make sure that you warm up, get your bottle and towel ready, and let's swing on by for some cardio. Ab focus trainees, the format is 10 total jogging areas with seven in the hashtag aerobic and hashtag stamina category, and then the last three being hashtag abs or hashtag waist. I've picked some favorites of mine here, but if you haven't got certain ones unlocked or you've got preferred ones, just make sure it fits with those hashtags that I said. Beginner, Dash Along Tower, and Starting Block Bridge are just really fun ones with Starting Block Bridge actually being one of the longest levels in the game. You can tailor and repeat levels to your taste as well to lengthen or shorten your workout. I chose Exertion River, Sport and Waters, and Mount Fear Me Not for their flying and rowing sections, but these can easily be subbed for others as well even rhythm levels, just find some stamina ones and some ab slash waist focused ones and go for it. Battle focus trainees, this one is a little bit different because I don't have any particularly recommended areas, but what I want you to do is just play your adventure mode and do at least five different areas. They can include your battles, they can include just side missions, whatever works. We're aiming for 20 to 30 active minutes with a focus on your cardio areas. You could run 2 to 3k in game to start, but as for specific levels, it's all going to depend on where you are in the adventure. There's no shame in replaying and farming items either. A really nice one to do in World 9 is push pool shrine because you can actually do an endless running section there's a little link to a video right in the corner here and that is going to show you how to do the endless runner trick this is a fun session with some jogging some aerobic fit skills some rhythm games and some mini games thrown in for good measure start with beginning and starting block bridge to ensure you're good and warmed up and have had a good steady jog before hitting up sidestep the lateral movement is fast enough to maintain the heart rate before disturbance meadow and knee lift if you find knee lift too simple or knee progression, try knee lift combo for a more dynamic move. Next, we have three rhythm games. Choose ab and arms and go for three you enjoy. Grassland, Drago Battle and Breath of the Wild Medley are all longer sessions and that's why I've chosen them here. These can be progressed, but you need to unlock those higher difficulties outside of custom mode, as I said earlier. Try to progress these as best as possible. Then we have bank balance with constant movement as a breather, but if you want to up the ante, Dreadmill is your choice here. Finish out with a jogging level. I suggest Treasure Pass, or if you want a harder one, Starting Block Bridge. Great stuff. Demon trainees, today is your interval cardio session in Ring Fit Adventure. I want you to follow these instructions. Try to do each level with minimal rest between. Take it a bit easier when it comes to your pure jogging levels because these are your active recovery periods. You'll see this as three sets of three. A fit skill, a dreadmill session, and a jogging level. Knee lift is your first fit skill followed by dreadmill and disturbance meadow. For your dreadmill, keep moving as much as possible. These little bursts of intensity will be showing by the final time, but still try to beat your score. And comment below if you hit a perfect in this session. We have sidestep and knee lift for second and third fit skills, although these can each be progressed to knee lift 
perfect combo. There's also a progression of Beginia to a Drago Stadium as well. It's a harder level with your treadmill, so pick and choose what works for your session. Treat it like interval training. Your hardest efforts should come in the fit skill and treadmill sections. Repeat this as you need. That's the good stuff. How are you feeling after that? You're feeling nice and sweaty? Hopefully you are, because that is some good cardiovascular training, and that's going to be really good for you. And that is leaning us quite nicely into the fit fact of the day. Cardiovascular exercise like jogging has been shown to do some really, really cool things for your body, like lower your blood pressure, help combat heart disease, improve your sleep quality, help relieve anxiety, promote better mental health, regulate your blood sugar and regulate your weight owing to increased calorie burn. There are plenty of studies that back this up and show that these generalizations do occur in most situations. Now cardio can be pretty boring, which is why a lot of people don't like to do it, but you can use a good playlist, like a lot of good music or some podcasts. You can use games like Ring Fit Adventure or Zombies Run or something like that, and it can make your cardio sessions easier mentally, which means that you can get those health benefits and just, yeah, have a good, strong heart. Now that's your fit fact for the day. That is the cardio day sorted and that is the tuesday session of the ring fit adventure kickstart 3 complete well done guys i hope your workout has been fantastic and that you are going to have a great day and you're excited for tomorrow thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patrons like rain sick hippie and mikey bananas for the fantastic support through patreon if you're looking for a more standardized personal training program after this please jump in the description and hit the link to my inquiries for my worldwide online training service okay thank you so much for watching again i'm master trainer peter i'm gonna see you tomorrow